Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the Green Bay Packers franchise. The Packers have started the season 2-0, and and we maybe have another tough road test versus New Orleans, and they are led by Jameis Winston here in his second year as the starter. Four touchdowns, four interceptions. Jameis isn't a bad quarterback. I mean, yes, he turns the football over. I'm not sure if those days are, you know, still with him, though. I think that he is a very competent quarterback. He understands the game. He knows where to go with the football. And I think that's just going to be a part of his game. He is a risk taker. Now, they still have Michael Thomas, Adam Troutman, and Chris Olave are their leading receivers. And they also have the ageless Cameron Jordan. I mean, guys like this are just crazy crazy talented I, it's just so funny as they get older they're still better than you know the young guys coming into the league they also drafted a pretty good defensive tackle and nose top tackle and Rashawn Gallimore he is actually a pretty decent rookie they drafted him in the third round so they have a pretty good squad and I think that you know with the NFC South what it is they have a chance to compete every single year we decided to make a roster move going into this game. We will sign from our practice squad, Timmy Price, an undrafted free agent rookie running back. He is actually not too bad at 67 overall. That would actually land him as the second highest running back on our team right now. And then more of the rookies. You know, what we've seen through the first two games, Vince Mumphrey has been incredible. He already had an upgrade, which took him from 97 speed to 98. He leads our team in yards with 177. Romeo Dobbs leads us in catches. I'm looking for him to take that next step to be a superstar. We named him the captain in the offseason. He has excellent, excellent ratings. And I'm just I'm just waiting for him to kind of break out. I don't know why we haven't gotten any breakout scenarios yet. I have no idea. And then we have Magnus McMacklin, who is a rookie. First rounder we drafted. And we traded our a couple of picks, a few picks, to trade up and draft him. So for the first time in this series, I'm going to make my first slider change. I will leave a link in the description so you guys can check these out. I played a couple of games with these, and I like the challenge. There are some tweaks I've made to it, um, such as the player threshold. Uh, I'm not going to have it at zero. This is just the base, what they tell you to play with, but I don't like it at zero. I like it at 48. I like the you know Madden game speed they have it at right now. And I believe that's the only change. But as we go on the season, I will make slight tweaks as we need them. But here we go. Welcome back to the Packers franchise. It's been a couple of days as the Saints start out with the Rock. This one will be a, a kickoff, and they will take it back to the 27. I forgot to change Rodrigo Blankenship's number away from 15, but we will do that. Winston, four touchdowns, four interceptions. Maybe we can force some today. We'll see what he does as he starts under center now. This is a stretch play to Alvin Kamara, who cuts inside, breaks a couple of tackles. That will be about a gain of seven yards. At the 34 now, second and three. We rush four on this one. Winston steps up and throws, and he had a great pocket to throw that one. No pressure. Winston makes his first completion of the game. First and 10 throw across the middle of the field. It's Alave who's got the first down, the rookie out of Ohio State. Here in real life, he's the rookie, but in this game, obviously second year. Winston now in the pocket, throws to the sideline. This one's going to be caught on the sideline for about a gain of four, third and three. Looks like New Orleans has a little bit of momentum here. We send the nickel blitz. They throw deep on the left side, and it's a jump ball for Michael Thomas. A touchdown. And Michael Thomas scores much like in real life. He had a good debut in week one. And that one is an excellent catch over the top of Jair, who got turned around. I think he did not see the football come his way. So Jordan Love is off to a really good start so far to start this season. 2-0, leading the Packers. Six touchdowns, three interceptions. We'll see if he can keep that up today. The rookie, Timmy Price, gets the first carry, trying to get him some confidence right away. One thing I like about Price is he is a change of pace back. Wearing number 19 here to debut is here is Love taking off up the middle. That one will be a scramble for a gain of eight. And that brings us to the 30-yard line for a third and three handoff. Now A.J. Dillon checks in, and he picks up the first down. 
Now, one thing I have done with these sliders is turn the injuries up. So I want to make sure I do have some balance with A.J. Dillon, not giving him every single carry. We're going to need him throughout this season. Here is Timmy Price in the slot, and this is where he's going to hurt you. A.J. Dillon is actually a pretty good pass catching back, but Price is a different type of guy. He has great route running. He can catch the ball as well. Hand off up the middle, A.J. Dillon, and he takes it for a gain of eight. And one thing I want to do is use our young guys. Here's a handoff to Dylan up the middle, and that one will be a first down. You can already see we're using both backs. That has been the highlight of this first drive is Timmy Price now checks in. Both backs getting a good dose of playing time. Love throws left side. This one is a great play by Demario Davis with the deflection. That was not a bad throw at all. Third and ten. The Saints send the pressure. We try to get rid of it. It's a sack. And Love didn't have much time to throw that football. Bryce Huff is shaking up on that play. He does get the sack as well. So 7 0 here, and the Saints have possession again, giving the ball to Alvin Kamara. He's touched the ball quite a bit today. Here's a quick throw across the middle into traffic. That was a dangerous throw by Jameis. Third and three now at their own 47. Handoff. Kamara has a hole. He has a lot of room and a first down. Tackle in the secondary by Benjamin Mayfield. And they will be at the 31-yard line. Eric Stokes helps out, helps out on the tackle as we start the second quarter now. Quick throw, and this is Kamara again. He's got another catch and another first down for him. 10 for 10 to start this game for Winston. Over 100 yards passing as well. We send five. Jameis trying to throw to the back of the end zone. Incomplete. Knocked away. Uh-oh. Jair Alexander is on the ground. Not sure what hurt him on that one. He was away from the play. Third and 10 now. Winston throws across the middle. That's caught by Michael Thomas. And it will be a gain of seven. And we will get them to settle for three on that drive. So 10-0 game here for the Saints. Here's a quick throw. And that one is a little risky on that one. It's going to be go, go, it's gonna go for a gain of four to the rookie Vince Mumphrey. Third and six, quick throw to Dobbs, and he's got the first down. His first catch of the game, three of seven to start this game for Jordan Love. At the 45 handoff, Dylan finding some space, and he picks up about a gain of two. The Saints defense is always actually pretty good. And now we get it to a third and four RPO action. Here's a quick throw to Dobbs, tries to make a move to the outside, but does pick, enough, pick up enough for the first down nonetheless. The Saints stack the box this time. Christian Watson in the slot. We might have had him on the wheel route, but we throw deep across the middle of the field to Amari Rodgers, who gets it knocked away. He can't hold on to that one. Now a third and 11. A similar play here, and that is a throw to Watson for the first down. And that's a great throw that time by Jordan Love. First and 10, quick throw across the middle. Dobbs, he has it for about a gain of seven. Love making some nice, easy throws across the middle. And that's what gets you going, especially with these new sliders. Here's a handoff. This is going to be A.J. Dillon getting to the 10. Running through a couple of tacklers, but this one is coming back. That will bring us to a second and long now. Jackson DeVille gets called for the hold. Is now here is Love throwing to left side. This one going to be intercepted. He was looking for Romeo Dobbs, and I wanted that thrown more to the sideline. Instead, Marcus May comes up with the interception. The Saints forced the first turnover of the game, and it looked like, yeah, that was just thrown way too far upfield. One that thrown more to the sideline. Dobbs had a couple of steps on that one. Three minutes to go here in the first half. Here's a throw out of the backfield, and that's going to be Camaro who picks up a gain of nine. Jameis with two incompletions so far today. He has been actually really, really good. Came into this game with four interceptions. He hasn't thrown one yet, but here's a handoff up the middle. TJ Edwards will bring down Kamara. Two minutes to go here in the first half. <clears throat> Just out of field goal range. Here's a throw to the sideline. This one is caught. And another first down picking up by Jameis Winston and this offense. Now at the 20. We send pressure, but an open man is Chris Alave. Touchdown. Right in the middle of zone coverage. We left him alone, and I have no idea why that zone was so big. But wow, what an easy throw by Jameis. And they convert here. It's 17 to nothing. 
So here they are at the 35 now with about a minute 15 to go to score here to end the first half, and that one will be a gain of six. Dobbs gets in position here. Now a minute to go. Love tries to step up in the pocket, and he goes down. The ball is on the ground. He tried to pick it up, and it's going to be a strip on that one from behind, and it looked like it's the rookie getting after the quarterback. Tim Settle falls on it. I highlighted him before the game. He was a third-round pick, and he makes a big play right there, and now there's under a minute to go. Jameis with possession. Here's a quick throw to a wide-open Michael Thomas. Jair Alexander will not be returning for the game. He might have a shoulder injury. At least that's what the trainers are telling us right now. Here's a throw to the right side, and this one's picked off, and that's Tariq Carpenter out of Maryland, the seventh-round pick in 2022. He's going to take it to the house for the touchdown. Jameis came into this game with four interceptions, the same amount of touchdowns as picks, and we forced him to throw one there. And wow, I don't know where he was throwing that one. He may have just been on the wrong page as his receiver, and Tariq Carpenter is right there. And that will take us into halftime. No offensive scores here for the Packers. We find ourselves down by 10. So second half action now. Jordan Love hasn't been bad. It's just that the Saints defense has been pretty good. We air it out on the first deep shot, and that's going to be caught by Vince Mumphrey, the rookie. He's got to have at least one of those deep shots one-on-one -on -one a game, and there it is. He gets behind the defense, and he actually doesn't get much separation. I think he was just getting caught up there, but an excellent throw by Love. I mean, that's a tight window. I don't know where else he could have put that ball. It's a first down. We're inside the red zone. Handoff, A.J. Dillon trying to get some room. Eight for 42 for Dillon. Definitely balancing out the carries between the two running backs now as he moved up Timmy Price. Now third and 10, Love in the pocket, trying to move, and he tries to find a little bit of space. He wouldn't have got there, but if it was a fourth and short, I probably would go for this, but instead I will settle for three. It's 17 to 10. So the Saints have been moving the ball pretty well in offense. Here's a handoff, and Kamara throws off two tacklers, Max Porter and Rashawn Gary, and the seventh-round pick, Gerald Ballard, shaking up on that play. So here's Kamara, a big hole up the middle. He gets to the second level, and Max Porter brings him down. 92 yards rushing here for Kamara. He has been running wild on us. Another first down run. They're across the 50 off of just two plays. Quick throw across the middle. This is a Lave, and he's got a first down as well. The Saints actually have some pretty good weapons. You put a Lave with Michael Thomas. If Michael Thomas can stay healthy, they're going to be good. Throw into the sideline, and Jameis just throws this one out of bounds. That brings it to a 39 now at the 23 yard line. Jameis throws across the middle, and that one is caught. Quay Walker on the stop. And the Saints will have to settle for three. Now it's a 10-point game with about four minutes to go. Here's a throw to left side. Jordan Love starts out the next drive with an incompletion. Romeo Dobbs had a step or two on that one. Second and 10. Here's a throw across the middle. Amari Rodgers getting some playing time. Amari Rodgers has been out getting snaps, you know, out snapping Christian Watson in this offense. It's been interesting. Third and four. Throw to the sideline. That one is going to be incomplete. I think Jordan Love felt the pressure a little bit on that play and just got rid of it before he had to. So the Saints are now back on offense. Jameis throws short. That one is caught by his tight end, Adam Troutman. And that one will be a third down stopped again. So the Saints get one of their first punts of the game as the Packers start the next drive on offense inside their 10. Here's a quick throw to the rookie, Vince Mumphrey, and he will have it for about a gain of eight. A.J. Dillon checks in now. High snap on the draw play, and it may have thrown off that blocking scheme right there, and it allows the defender to get in, and we're down by 10 in the fourth quarter. This is a questionable play call right here. We're going to go for it. Here's a throw across the middle, and that's caught by Amari Rodgers. We wanted a simple route right there, get the ball out of Jordan Love's hands. Nice, easy throw for the first down. Here's another throw right to Rodgers again, and Rodgers has been a reliable. He did have that drop earlier but has had three catches since now a second and five here is love taking his time and finding Dobbs 
It's a first down throw. And that one will move the chains as we're across the 50. Here's another quick throw across the middle. And that is going to be Facemeyer and Dash Facemeyer, who was on the practice squad the entire season last year. It's his first catch of his career. Here is Love now stepping up in the pocket, looking for somebody to throw it to. He's just going to take off, and he does get inside the five and pushed out of bounds at the two. Love using his legs today a little bit. Toss play now at the two-yard line. Dylan trying to get to the outside, and he does pick up just one yard. That brings it to a third and goal. It's tough to score here in the red zone. Handoff, stretch play, and the Saints defense backs us up to the four. The penetration did not allow A.J. Dillon to even get back to the line of scrimmage, and it will be a 20-13 game here. Is now inside of three minutes. It looks like the Saints just have to run out the clock here, and here is a uh, draw play. That one is stuffed, though. It looked like that is uh, Davis who gets in on, on the backfield. Third and 13, and now Camara almost breaks it free and almost gets the first down. Max Porter, the rookie out of Notre Dame, with the tackle. And now we have one drive, one timeout, a minute 47 to go at the eight. Snap. Here is Love stepping up in the pocket. Tries to get rid of that when he had an open man, and it will just be a gain of one. He was looking for Vince Mumphrey, who was pretty open on that one. Second and nine now this is a play action fake jet sweep. Love tries to get out of the pocket and throw it. It's a safety. What a way to end this game. Jordan Love tried to get out of the pocket and throw this out of bounds. For some reason, he didn't throw it. Wow. You saw the arm motion going forward. He didn't get rid of it. And this game ends in a safety. The first loss of the season here for the Packers. Two and one here. And the Saints also move on to two and one. You just see the yards difference. We didn't really throw the ball a whole lot better than, you know, the Saints. We, I mean, the Saints didn't throw the ball a whole lot better than we did. But I feel like at the end of the day, I think the sliders definitely changed some things for us. It made you play a little more strategic i don't think the saints like really like you know we're, we're striking us through the air i think we actually played some pretty good defense obviously michael thomas was open chris alave was open we end up coming up just short one thing with these sliders i'm definitely going to move down the pass blocking there were no sacks in this game i mean besides you know that last sack right there there were no sacks really in this game and i definitely want to tweak that a little bit but besides that, I think this played excellently. It was a interesting game from start to finish. It was definitely more challenging, and that's something that I was looking for. I didn't want something that was overly hard, but I wanted something that was challenging. You can just see, you know, like the, by the numbers, we were four of nine on third down. They were five of nine, so it wasn't, you know, too lopsided of a victory. But we do get some news coming out of this game. Jair Alexander broken ribs. They initially thought it was a shoulder injury, but Broken ribs, three weeks. So we're going to be missing our top cornerback going into next episode where we will probably get through about three games. I'm going to get through a little bit of the season. I wanted to focus, you know, the first three episodes of each season, kind of figuring out, you know, what type of team we're going to be. And now we face a couple of tough teams, including the Ravens next, who Lamar Jackson is obviously still their franchise quarterback. And I'm not sure if he did sign an extension with them. I'll have to double check that when we start next episode. But we want to hold him to under 75 yards rushing. I'm guessing we will get a boost by doing that. But Jordan Love so far, six touchdowns, four interceptions. And a lot of you guys do want to see the rookie Emmett McCall. But I like what Jordan Love is doing right now. He's actually been pretty good. His accuracy has gone and come at times, but I think, you know, I like what I see out of him so far. And then McCall, it actually isn't too far behind, though. At 70 overall, he has the future starter player tags, QB of the future, all that stuff. And he's a really good player. I just don't think it's his time just yet. I think it's smart to wait. There are a couple of quarterbacks I want to highlight here. Matt Corral, 10 touchdowns, 3 interceptions for a 3-0 Panthers team. And Desmond Ritter is 13 touchdowns, 3 interceptions for a 3-0 Atlanta team. 
I mean, these young quarterbacks have come in and really taken over and really been, you know, the surprise here of the NFL. I guess uh, the Panthers are not 3-0, just the Atlanta Falcons. But looking at the NFC North here, we are tied here for first place. The Vikings are off to a 2-1 start. And how about the Lions and Bears? The two teams in the division who had the best offseason are winless through the first three games. The Bears have had closer games than the Lions have had, but still. 0-3 start for them. So could this be another year? Packers versus Vikings for the NFC North title. We'll have to see. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think of the squad and uh, even the slider change. What do you guys think about that? So stay tuned. See you next episode. Let's get it. Let's go. I'm about my plaid. I'm decked up on blue bills. And I won't stop until the cash pit. They're like fall leaves in the backfield. Tell her out of my face if she coming with that bull. Quick to save my peace. I'm so after school special. She brainy but them jeans looking like.